it's time for our nutrition segment. Tolani Fashion is a registered dietitian and member of the Association of Nigerian Dietitians and Soci Nutrition Society of Nigeria. Today, we're talking about this infamous keto <laughs> diet. Just hearing that word keto sometimes just freaks me out <laughs> um, because a lot of people have jumped on that train or they a think lot, they do. Lot, lot, they lot, think lot, they're lot, even lot. doing it. Some are not even doing it right. But no, um, no. thanks for coming to talk to us about this. No, thanks for inviting me. So what exactly is the keto diet? How did this all start? Yeah, keto diet. Basically, you know, we've been talking about food fads now. Mm. I'll put it in a category of a fad. Too. It's a fad. Yes. But not a fact. Yes. <laughs> you know, well, it's fad. It's opposite fad. is fact. Uh, well, there, there are many parts to it. Okay. And I'll try to explain. Yeah, the keto diet is a high fat, low carb diet with okay. moderate protein. Okay, so high fat, like low 80 carb. Like 80% of the diet, let's say 70 to 80 would be fat. Okay. Maybe you have some 10, 15 protein, mm -hmm. and then we have some, at times below 10, maybe 5% carbohydrates. carbohydrates. Okay, so I'm going to ask a question that many are probably wondering. Uh, are you for or against it as a nutritionist? <laughs> as a nutritionist? Oh, God, I would say, yeah. I wish I could say I'm against it. Oh, you wish but then you could say. I wish I could. Okay. But then, the, the, like I said, there are many parts to it. It's um, we realize. Okay, the origin. Let's go back to the origin. How did it all begin? Mm. Who brought in the idea of keto diet? I'll tell you. It dates back to the likes of Hippocrates, fathers of medicine. Wow. I'm serious. Hippocrates. Yes. Back then in the, then, what, the 1800s? I mean, I mean, okay. but it became more rampant in the 1920s. Okay. And the, the purpose, the reason why they brought it to play was because of epileptic patients. So it was supposed to be a cure for epilepsy? Seizures. Now. Seizures. One of the things that comes with patients that have uh, neurological disorders, okay. like epilepsy, okay. autistic patients, uh, angel man syndrome, okay. mention them, quite a number. Yeah. I, I would have put Down syndrome, but Down syndrome, they have more of cardio, mm -hmm. cardiological disorders, okay. you know, than... Uh, so you're of, saying that a high fat diet is um, not exactly a cure, but some a treatment for seizures? A treatment. Okay. They usually give them anticonvulsant medications. But for those that are, the, the medications is not handling the seizures okay. that they have, maybe the frequency of seizures, mm. they realized, I mean, it was thorough research. If you go Online. and check now, and mm. you, you would see the, 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 I think there's an Angel Manza Foundation, mm. they realized that when they gave them a lot of fat diet, mm. The, the level of neurological actions reduces okay. and then seizures uh, reduces Reduce. too. They don't have more seizures. Okay, so that's how it started. That was how it started. And I know a lot of um, diets come from, you know, um, treatments of ailments. I've heard that before. Definitely. But now people are using it to lose weight mm -hmm. or supposedly lose weight. Mm -hmm. So there's a difference between losing weight and keeping fit, in my view. Lifestyle. Um, but... So this process of doing keto, uh, what is the right way to do it right that it'll help to lose, help someone to lose weight? Okay, mm. let's go. Like I said, the purpose why they brought this thing was for these people. Yeah. And I would let you know that in some parts of the world, some doctors don't use this high keto diet. Why? Because it has, it's, uh, it has, it's uh, the, 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 the negative outcome. Okay. I mean. We know, uh, like I'd always mentioned, that the food pyramid, mm. there's something we call the food pyramid. When you walk into any medical establishment, you see this triangular mm. structure that they place foods there. Okay. There is a measure for every food. 50% of our meals, no matter how they plan that meal, diabetic, hypertensive, name it, 50% of the diet should be from carbohydrates. Because that, yes, okay. because that is the fuel that the body uses, the brain uses. Okay. Now, if we have to reduce this mm. because of this ailment, we are bringing something to play, something okay. that may be negative. Okay. And one of it is this. They have the tendency of having serious uh, Cardiology, cardiological problems, okay. especially with ischemia. I mean, mm -hmm. uh, this clogging of uh, the arteries, arteries yes. with uh, fat. Mm. And then most of them can have, like this, uh, this the story we read online recently about the lady that had brain death oh, wow. because of the high protein diet that she was taking. Okay, so she was basically taking mostly High protein proteins. plus protein shakes. All those drinks they give them. Yeah. Yeah, she was taking the supplement plus high protein diet, very low carb. 
Okay. And that was because she wanted to keep fit, have the booty, have everything in yeah. shape, but yeah. then, you know. And then she, she killed her brain, basically. Of course, because the fuel for the brain, the fuel for the body is glucose. Oh. Now, with keto, you go through another channel. Okay. You withdraw glucose from the brain, from other parts of the body, and then you give it ketone. Mm. And then that ketone becomes another fuel, a kind of fuel. But the problem is this. There's something we call ketoacidosis. Oh, wow. You have excess of that as the met metabolic reaction from okay. that. Okay. Okay. So that is one problem they can have. Another thing is hypoglycemia. We call it hypoglycemia because glucose is low. Yes. They start feeling dizzy. Mm. They feel uh, tired. Some of them, the hands start shaking. Mm. Those are just the minor. And then the long term are the issues of uh, the, 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 uh, the, the cardiological issues, the infarction when wow. blood supply to the brain Wow. is, uh, is, is okay, compromised. So, so now, um, give me uh, an example of a meal that is a keto meal huh. that you would, you would, uh, oh, okay. you would use an, as an example. When so, someone takes, uh, let's see, omelette. Omelette, that's yes. uh, eggs. Eggs, yeah, yeah you yeah. fry eggs and then you have two sausages with it. Two sausages, okay. Yeah, and then you, you top it up with full cream milk. Full cream milk. Okay. And that's all you take, or maybe just minus some little noodles or pasta. Okay. But then it's the two portions of omelette with sausages, with bacon, strips of bacon too. Uh -huh. Yeah, they hit that way. They that's, eat that way, that's... very little pasta, and then that's it. Wow. That's a typical keto diet. But let me say this now. Mm. I said it's relative because for the epileptic, it helps them mm. when their anticonvulsant drugs are, are not, not potent weak. enough and when surgery is not available. Mm. Now for some others, because part of the things that come from it is excessive weight loss. Mm. You okay. would lose weight. Mm. Why? Because glucose, uh, glucose has a part in converting to fats. And then, mm. of course, when you have low glucose, mm. fat metabolism, yeah. you're just burning it directly and then you, you'd lose weight. But I would advise something because I know that um, a lot of people, abuse still, they still say it from today. They'd be like, I'm losing weight with it. So why are you telling me not to use it? And because they're not using you can't even keep it up for a long time. Mm. You can't. Mm. I don't advise anybody to because it's injurious. Mm. What we say is this, if you must go on a keto, mm. do it one month, okay. migrate to Atkins. Atkins mm. is 60% protein, 40% okay. uh, carbs. carbs. Migrate to Atkins and then from Atkins migrate to the normal, which is 50% carbs, 30, uh, 20 to 25% vitamins and minerals, 15 to 20% of uh, proteins and 5% fats. Fats. So right you need to juggle it. You can't stay on keto for too long. You should not It's do too it. dangerous. Very, very. Um, I've heard about people that have heart issues, uh, family history of heart problems, cardiological issues, um, and they've been advised to not even try keto at all. They shouldn't. Yeah. They should not. So you should go the more check you, um, you go on high fat, I mean, you're mm, just, cholesterol mm. is there. I guess, so the, I think the rule here is before you even start any diet, you should speak with a nutritionist. And then, of course... Make sure you even know the kind of nutritionist you're speaking to. Make sure it's a registered one, not those with crash programs, especially in the hospital, a clinical nutritionist, okay. a dietitian. Okay. Speak to them okay. and then carry your doctor along So too. not Instagram nutritionist? No, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> especially okay. those that you can't even, you're not sure that they are really registered nutritionists. Okay. All right. Now, I have to say a big thank you to you for this because I know a lot of people that are on this diet or they're trying to be on it. They don't even know if they're on it really or not. They just hear it's only fat I'm supposed to eat. Mm. Um, and they don't understand there are different measurements of these food groups mm -hmm. that they're supposed to adhere to. Um, but if you are on a special diet, as we said just now, please, please, please sp speak to a nutritionist first. Find out if it's the diet for you, for your body type, uh, before you embark on anything like this. It's, it's a very big deal. Please.